What's up guys, Tim Little, Matt Allen, welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today's video got another buyer's guide for you. Today we're talking about deep crankbaits. The crankbait category is giant. Even the deep diving crankbait category is so much more vast than most people realize. Uh, now you can you can make it easy. You can have a favorite bait and go fishing and you will catch fish. That works. But you can also start looking around and paying attention. And you'll notice that when the elites pack, you know, every year they're all packing up, they're putting photos on Instagram. You'll see their stack of worm boxes, their spinner baits and chatter baits, their swim baits, and then you'll see crank baits that go <laughs> almost to the ceiling. There's a reason for that. Crank baits are a giant category and unfortunately it's another one of these categories where you can spend a fortune trying to find the right bait for the job so it's no mistake that we timed this with the holiday sales for you guys why don't we kick it off because it is fall let's talk cold water cranking first speed cranking we'll get that covered then we'll expand into crankbaits for the rest of the year and then end with rods does that sound good yeah, first thing you gotta understand is not every crankbait is created equal. They all have different actions. And like Matt said, it could be easy as, as easy as tying one on, going out and casting and retrieving, right? But understanding, going down that rabbit hole and understanding wobbles and actions and all that sort of stuff really does come into play. So let's start with cold water. You wanna go first? Yeah, bait number one. This is the obvious place to start. This is the Tactical DD75. This is the bait that Tim and I partnered up with River to Sea and designed for this time of year. Uh, this bait is specifically designed to be fished during the cold water months. Now when experimenting, we have also got on some crazy bites in the summertime. Yep. But that is not what we designed it for. We're talking water in the 50s, the 40s, even in the 30s. Yep. Uh, getting fish to react by combining the right action with the right sound with the right speed speed is everything this bait is designed for speed cranking seven to one reels eight to one reels in the coldest water we have dedicated videos on how to do it so i'm not going to go down that rabbit hole for you but this is bait number one specifically the ghost tones the clearer colors those are the baits that you want to focus in that cold water so those fish have to run them down and attack them to get a good look at them yes yeah, so many double digits have been caught on that bait and and we designed that prototype that for a couple of years almost three years uh and lots and lots of success and what's cool is having people around the country sending us pictures of pbs and it's teeners crazy. 13 pounder i mean just it's it's really really cool um Next bait, since we're sticking with the cold water, I'm gonna go with the Mega Bass. That's the Deep X300. Those of you that aren't familiar with Mega Bass, Japanese comp company, very, very meticulous, uh, real, real detailed oriented. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is another great, real tight wobble, cold water crankbait. What hooks are on the, uh, this is your bait. Those are some owners. Okay, these some are- Some of the STXs. Those, those are, they're sharp. Oh, those those are <laughs> those will mess you up. Yeah. You are yeah. not gonna slap that bait and not gonna face. Yeah, those up. are those are not uh, not stock hooks. But <laughs> <laughs> so the Mega Bass, the Deep X three hundred, um, where Mega Bass really shines is uh, their their paint schemes. Their their like I said, the attention to detail, mm -hmm. and uh, we've caught numerous big ones on this as well. So uh, probably top two or three cold water crankbaits. That guy right there, definitely. And again, this time of year, you want to focus on those natural tones, not the big, bright, bold colors. That's a summertime thing. We're going to get to that. My next one is going to be the Spro Rock Crawler. Now, this one almost didn't make the cut. This enters in a, com a completely different genre of mid-diving crankbaits. Mm -hmm. uh, but I looked at my mid-divers and I grabbed one to slide into the deep diving category for you. If I could only have one. The Spro Rock Crawler, again, cold water cranking, but I throw this bait, as the name would suggest, around, around rock. rock. So specifically when you're making hard, aggressive bottom contact, you're getting that bait down and just slamming it along the bottom. 
that's when this bait shines. Stop and go, digging it through the rocks, letting it break loose, pausing it, burning again. That's where that one will shine. These other baits, they can be fished in and around cover. They can also be run stop and go in the open water yeah, and cold. they will draw a reaction. This is a bait that I want specifically contacting bottom. Now it comes in a ton of great colors. I did not grab this one by accident. I have no earthly idea what it's called, <laughs> but in the video description, I will get it right for you. We'll link every single bait and our favorite colors for every single one down there in the description to make this easy for you, as well as for your loved ones. If they're shopping for you for the holidays, that description is self-explanatory, makes it really easy to find the baits. They're down there in the order that we talk about them as well. This hands down is my favorite color of the rock crawler. That's my number one. So I grabbed that one, but I can never, there's like eight of them that are close. So I always confuse the names, but this is the one that for me and my fishing has stood out. Yeah, it's so crazy that, you know, you, all these fisheries we fish and all the different colors of crawdads throughout the- Crazy. And and Spro does an amazing job at, I mean, they probably have what, 10, 12, 15 different colors of crawdad patterns. Maybe more. So that's, uh, that's really cool. Um, and I've had a lot of success with that one too. Uh, next one I wanna talk about, it's another mega bass. It's actually their uh, Deep Six. Now I, I kind of, both of these crankbaits, I wanna, I mean, you can go out and just burn them, right? And, and crank and just grind like you would the Spro, but it's almost like a finesse deep water crank. Like it's mm -hmm. light line, you know, you can do 10, 12 pound test, but again, that cold water, uh, this bait gets down 16, 18 feet or so, depending on your line. But again, that mega bass, real thin lip, real mm -hmm. tight wobble. Uh, I like to throw this on a, a, a lighter, finessier crank setup. Um, lighter hooks, but uh, again, Mega Bass, you're, you're getting the, the terminal tackle, the, the split rings, high end hooks. I see you already upgraded these to three X's. To giant hooks. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, you've worn that bill down. I, a lot of these baits are pretty beat up. Yeah. 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 So, um, but yeah, the Mega Bass, the Deep Six is another really, really uh, key cold water crankbait. We have had a little success throwing it in the fall, in the summer, mm -hmm. but primarily our best success with these crankbaits, right? These two right here is right now all the way through like February, those cold yeah. water months. That's when you'd be surprised that a crankbait can really trigger those bass into eating when they won't eat, they, you know, just following a swim bait, just creeping a swim bait or, or something else, but really keying into that predatory instinct of a crank of a bass with that crankbait deflects off of something something so cool burning those things super fast and having them just blitz it at the boat right now we get these questions all the time guys will message us email direct message comment on youtube i, I see your video i see you talking about cold water cranking and i own this one will it work or i own this one will it work we're not just randomly picking a very small selection of baits. It's not like these are our favorite from the 30 we cold water crankbait with. These are them. Right. These are what we cold water crankbait with, and you need to understand that. And there's a reason for it. We have put a ton of time and money into experimenting, and the results have spoken for themselves. Those are the baits we throw. Now from there, we're jumping into baits for the rest of the year. Of the, year. Yeah. the baits that stand out the rest of the time. This is probably my personal favorite summertime bait. Okay, this is the Azuma Z-Boss. Now, I guess I'll let the school bus drive by here. Hey it, kids. It wouldn't be a video if we didn't have a school bus, a leaf chainsaw, blower. a chainsaw. leaf blower, yep. heavy equipment. Gunshot. That was Gunshot was good. Yeah, that, that was, was the other one. day. Yeah. <laughs> it's always something. That's all right. So the Azuma Z Boss is a bait with a really wide action, very different than a cold water crankbait. They're tight and they can be run very quickly. These baits are kicking so wide, they're fighting you. So you're going slower when you're reeling them getting down deep, dredging, still deflecting, still some stop and go. When you hit cover, let that thing pause, then continue again. But the Azuma Z-Boss is just a bait that has worked so well for me. I like the stock hardware on this bait. It just, back to the heavy equipment, huh? <laughs> it just works. This is an amazing bait, but specifically, I use the 22 and the 24 size. It comes in an entire run 
Those are the two that I use. Those two, 22 and 24, are fantastic options. You went with a big dog right off the bat, huh? I did. We'll, go, we'll work our way back from there. All right, so we're going deepest to <laughs> loudest. <laughs> All right, since he went with the ultra deep cranks, uh, I guess I will go with my favorite. My favorite is the Strike King 10 10X, XD. Now this bait came out several years ago and really kind of revolutionized deep cranking. Getting that bait, getting that action down to depths that those fish hadn't seen before. Mm -hmm. uh, so the first year or two, I mean, just giant after giant were being caught on this because like I said earlier, getting that bait to reflect and, and uh, change directions and with the stop and go, just really keys in on those, the, the bass and their, just their predatory instincts to eat. So right. getting this down to the 20 foot range, 22 foot range. Or right, deeper. Or deeper. Um, really opens the door to catch fish that haven't really seen a crankbait before. So if you're fishing a fishery that don't see a lot of crankbaits, definitely give this guy a, uh, a try. Now this is gonna take some specific gear. We'll talk about that here shortly, mm -hmm. but a Strike King 6 or 10XD, it's not very expensive at all in the grand scheme of crankbaits, but um, your shoulder and your elbow is gonna feel it after a day. These things pull hard. You know, they, they do. that big old lip, that thing's gonna get down there, but um, when that thing loads up and just those big head shakes, you're like, uh-oh, what do I got? Uh, that, that 10XD, man, is, is really, really cool. And that's my favorite, favorite color also. Again, like all this. Mm -hmm. Very all, similar color. Yeah, isn't it? all these baits. We'll link our favorite colors and stuff down below. Maybe some hook upgrades, but um, very, very good crankbait. Yeah, Tim nailed it with these, these fish see a lot of crankbaits in a lot of fisheries. Throwing something that's different throwing something that can go at a different speed at a different time of year, or throwing something that goes deeper than everything else. It's amazing, a five foot change, right? If everybody can reach 18 foot and you can suddenly reach 24, you are literally running a crankbait across the nose of a bass that is not seeing crankbaits. It might see them run by up above, but it's not having those baits deflecting in front of it. And when you're the first one to reach those depths, those fish react to that very, very aggressively. My second one, we'll get the, the deep, deep ones out of the way, and then we'll do some more traditional sized baits to wrap it up. This is one that first landed in a gear review earlier this year. This is the dual hardcore bullet crank. It's the seven plus, it's the giant. Let me see that 10XD. It's a huge, bait i mean for comparison there's a 6xd right it's a huge bait but you might notice that even though the bill is giant the body is significantly smaller than a 10xd it also pulls significantly less and it has smaller hooks it has size two hooks as a result this is a bait that is much more comfortable for the angler to fish down deep and also has some more crossover into the cooler time of year. So if you're trying to get crazy, crazy deep, you can do it without just completely destroying your shoulder. This is something you're gonna do day after day after day. The bullet crank, as it sounds, it will cast like a bullet and it dives hard. It has an extremely steep dive angle, gets down very, very quickly, and doesn't have that crazy wide action. Now in the hardest summer, I love those super wide actions but I still did really well with this bait during summer. Ledge fishing, I did well with it. Uh, it's just another one of those options that's easier to fish on lighter line because it has smaller hooks. So you can drop this down and throw it on 12 pound and really get it down Deep. there. Uh, next bait I wanna talk about, it's uh, if you're an entry level crankbait fisherman or an experienced crankbait fishing, uh, this next one does not break the bank. Mm -hmm. and it catches big ones. This is the Norman DD-22. Now this is a staple out on the West Coast, won many, many tournaments. Probably this this combo right there, the 805 right. with the with the DD-22. I mean, that was my first real deep dive and crankbait setup, but uh, the, it's it's not very expensive, especially in, in compared to the others, and uh, tons of colors. I don't know what, 30 or 40 different colors or something. So many. But, um, more importantly, it just works. You know, sometimes you have these crankbaits that look great, sound great, you think they work and they just don't. Mm -hmm. This just is a flat out fish catcher, fairly wide wobble. You know, I was just checking out the different 
the bills, you know, these the different bill shapes just intrigue me with what they're going to do to the bait. But uh, uh, real wide wobble, real aggressive wobble. This is going to be a warm water crankbait mm -hmm. later in spring, summer, and into the fall, right? Once it starts really cooling down, that's when you're going to transition into a tighter wobble crankbait. But that is a really good summer nighttime crank. I don't know how many fish I've caught in black and red nighttime crank nighttime cranking full moon and just burning this crank and just yeah so dd22 is uh is a must if you guys want to get into deep cranking now my last bait before we get into rods well you've got another one too i'll combine them this one is is that true staple bait i would say i mean i don't know this but i'm going to guess it's the number one crankbait the number one deep diving crankbait on the market would be my guess the 6xd yeah, most popular yeah the 6XD is an incredible fish catching bait. For me, it is specifically a summertime bait. Mm -hmm. At the second that water starts to cool down, I put it away. And it does not come back out until we are fully in the pre-spawn. Or excuse me, post-spawn. Uh, I fish it right during those summer months. But during that time, that aggressive wide wobble, similar to a 10XD, just downsized. You can really aggressively burn that thing if flat gets bit. We were looking at this one right before we turned the camera on. I have beat grooves in the bait. The hooks have cut grooves in the bait. I've beat the paint down flat and the bill is smaller than it should be. I've ground the bill off of the bait. <laughs> they just work. Uh, it's, it's incredible. Now, I mentioned color before. You see how bright and bold this thing is. Summertime is a different animal than wintertime. Wintertime is about natural tones. Summertime is about solids and bright, bold colors. Now, can you still throw a ghost? Of course mm -hmm. you can. But fish are willing to chase. They're willing to run a bait down. And those bright, bold colors just get that aggressive response out of those fish. So do not be afraid to throw that powder blue, those bright chartreuses. They will smash those things. Yeah, chartreuse blue, chartreuse black back, those are like the two colors, especially summertime. Yep. And I agree, 6XD, the striking 6XD is probably the most used deep crankbait on the market and should be. I it mean, should be. It, it works. It works. It flat works. It works. That's, the, that's the where we started and said, you can't just grab one and go fishing. Right. That's, that's probably the one. Right. Uh, but it will not do the same as any of these in cold water. It just doesn't. Yep. It has a time of year. Yeah. Uh, last one I want to talk about is actually a series. This is the Rapala DT series. Now, this is specifically the 14, but I want to talk about the 10, the 12, 14, 16, 20. <laughs> Depending on the depth of your fishery, the depth that you're trying to reach, uh, Rapala makes it really easy, the DT14. Guess what that dives to? 14 feet. Uh, so, it's really easy as an angler to have a DT12 box. DT16 box and a DT20 box. Right there, you have all your different depths. You don't have to go every increment, right? Right. Uh, 12, 16, 20, we'll get, we'll get the job done. But um, Rapala really started using them more and more the last few years. It's a, it's a, a wider wobble bait. Again, it's gonna be kind of that summer. For me, it's gonna be that late spring all the way into the transition from, from fall, like into winter. Yeah. That cold water transition. So, you know, good half of the year, these are my go-tos. The, these and the, the Strike King, the 6XD, the 5XD as well. But um, these are really, really good crankbaits. I, I change all of my gear out on these hooks. It's a, it's a big thing for me just because when I do get that bite, I don't wanna lose it. But uh, Rapala makes some really cool colors. You know, stick with your, your craws and stick with your shat, your bait fish patterns. That'll get you through. We'll link some of our favorites down below in the video description. But uh, the DT series, that entire lineup, depending on the fishery, you're fishing, the depth you need to reach, adjust those baits accordingly. But, you know, the, the 12s, 14s, 16s, 20s, those are all great baits. Now, if you could only choose one of them, just, out, just because it is a buyer's guide. DT16. Okay. Yeah. Now, I also want to let our, our silence speak volumes. So we really are trying to narrow it down for you, right? There were only four cold water baits. There's only six essentially warm water baits. We talk about the 6XD and the 10XD. We did not talk about a 10X, uh, an 8XD. Yep, or 5XD. Oh, I mentioned 
but 5XD. Our, our silence speaks for a reason, right? We really are trying to help you narrow it down. Am I saying that an 8XD doesn't catch them? I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if you have a 6 and a 10, you don't need an 8. Right. So we really do want to help you narrow it down. Now, with that, let's talk rods and reels. There's four combos here um, for different things or different price ranges. Uh, I'll go first. Okay. This is the Loomis IMX Pro, which is the bulk of my cranking. Uh, this is the 968. Bulk of your cramping, cranking in the deep stuff or just in general? In general, okay. it's the bulk of it. I'm, not necessarily this rod, but that but line? the IMX Pro line. Okay. Yeah, the, the majority of my cranking is done there. Not all, but the majority. This is the 968. This is my main rod for, well, throwing the big ones, right? Uh, from, say, a DD22 and a 6XD at the smallest on up it's very comfortable throwing the azuma throwing the 10xd throwing the big stuff i pair it up with the tranks 200 uh, sometimes i fish braid to leader sometimes i fish straight fluorocarbon that depends uh, and typically what that depends on is fluorocarbon is just easier day in and day out chuck it wind it back it's easy you get nicked up clip it off retie keep going but if the fish are aggressively reacting to the stop and go braid to leader blows fluorocarbon out of the water uh, but typically i'll fish it on either 15 or 17 pound fluoro and go i only go lighter if i need to yeah the key thing with the braid versus the fluorocarbon is you want that immediate stop when you stop yep. turning the handle you want that bait to stop you know with a little bit of stretch in that fluorocarbon It'll just it just kind of slowly comes towards you or slowly slows down but, and you kind of kind of point at it to give it, you know, right. point at it. But Throw the slack. With the braid, you can stop, and you know that that bait is stopping. So, um, yeah, it totally depends on water clarity, how the fish are acting. Um, but uh, my first combo I'm going to talk about, this is my first cranking setup, mm -hmm. uh, is the Dobbins 805 CB paired up with a Tranks 200. You could use a Corrado 200 or any 200 size reel. Uh, but, again, when we're talking cranking, we very, very seldom are doing the five to one gear ratio. Really. Yeah. We're always moving quickly. We want that bait down there, getting down deep, getting down there quickly, deflecting, pausing, burning, pausing. Go. You're just getting erratic. You know, you want those fish chasing. So uh, we very rarely just sit there and just, you know, crawl a crankbait. So uh, any of your seven to one, eight, one, eight to one gear ratio reels will work. But again, that 805, that Dobbins, now with all these crankbait rods, they're specifically made to bend flex deeper into the blank. Mm -hmm. you know, that's very important. You can't take your typical jig rod out and throw a crankbait on, right? right? You need that, that rod to load deeper into the blank. That way, uh, when, when that fish hits and loads up that rod, it doesn't come unloading, it doesn't unload very quickly and let them give, uh, you know, slack in the line and spit the bait right you want that thing kind of like a noodle noodle to load and unload very slowly so that 805 uh, cb paired up with that tranks 200 is a great cranking combo now one thing i'm going to add both of those rods have one in the line that's stronger like there's a nine power of this this was the eight now company to company they 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 all call them something different right here this is an eight power that's a five power but that's not apples to apples that's not how that works. So you always compare them within their own brand, but that has a six power above it. This has a nine power above it. And in both cases, I prefer the eight here and we prefer the five there over the six. Uh, it's just more forgiving. I think day in and day out, you'd be much happier with the five than the six and your body is much happier. That six yeah. will wear out your arm. Yeah, the 805, I mean, you can, we, crank 10 xds on it all the time all stuck the some time. giants on it and they like matt said they came out with an 806 dd22 rod but um i like the 805 better for it yep. it's just personal preference um you're up yeah sure i'll go this is my other rod that i just latched onto this is the zodius so shimano zodius seven foot six glass uh, traditionally, I have never liked glass rods, but in recent years, glass rods have changed a lot. They've, they've ended up blending them. 
Mm -hmm. And that has made a big difference. And I've really latched onto a couple of glass rods since then. Glass rods are incredible for loading up on the cast and for absorbing when you hook fish. They're remarkable. The reason why I like this rod so much is that it will throw it all. So I, I figured that out when we were traveling. I took this rod down to Mexico with us and I could do everything from a square bill to a 10XD on the same rod because it would load so deep that it would still pin a fish on a square bill. But if I giant ate that 10XD, I could really lean on it and I'd get them too. So it works well for both. The thing about a glass rod is you have to understand that when you go to cast them, they feel like a noodle. It does not feel the same as a traditional rod. So when you go to load up, <laughs> you, blow your you go up. to cast and it just keeps loading and loading and loading and loading. That's okay. It feels like it's going to grenade. It does, but they never do. So that 7.6 glass has been an amazing option for me. Uh, and it's... I'm not gonna call it budget by any means, but it's in the middle. It's significantly less than most of the IMX Pros that I throw. So if you're trying to save some money, you want a rod that will throw a lot of different baits and you just want one, that will do it. There's also the Intenza version, which is a budget rod, also in that 7.6 glass. We'll link that too. So I guess there'll be five combos linked, uh, but that Intenza is a budget version of this that will still let you throw all sorts of different things without breaking the bank. And it's on that, same, <laughs> those three have all had a Trinx 200 on them. There's a reason for that. It's a great crank and reel. Yeah, there's, there's so many crankbait rods on the market. And what's important for you guys to understand, whatever crankbait, whatever deep diving crankbait you're throwing, just make sure that your bait is not maxing out your rod. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you don't want this bait pulling so hard that your rod is completely loaded. Because guess what? When you go to set the hook on that fish, where do you go? You have nothing. So make sure whatever you're, whatever you're throwing, that you're not overpowering your rod with the crankbait. Mm -hmm. Now this, I'm going to, next combo or last combo I'm going to talk about. This is the IMX Pro 906 CBR. This is hands mm -hmm. down my day in and day out crank rod. It, uh, one thing to say about all of these rods is they're all seven foot six or longer. Yep. Right. You want to be able to launch that thing. It's all about dive angle. The farther you can get that bait out there, that that pendulum as that thing dives down, it gets down deeper. The it's the longer you can stay down deep into that strike zone, that area that you're trying to fish, the longer the better. you're actually fishing. The, yeah. The longer that you're actually fishing. So uh, again, it's going to be a. This is the 906 seven foot six. Uh, all the way up to eight foot rods, but this guy right here paired up with the Bantam. Mm -hmm. This is just a workhorse, and we really fell in love with this reel a, a few years ago. Again, speed cranking, straight fluoro, but it's at that single piece frame. It's just a yep, solid, solid, real frame. solid feel, feeling reel. Uh, and it's just, you know, when you're cranking, right, you're, you're twisting that handle and that bait is pulling back. That big bill is down there diving and pulling back. And it's just, just smooth, it's easy. Right. So day in and day out, this is my my cranking rod. That guy right there, uh, anywhere from speed cranks to 6XDs to the DT14, 16, all of that type depth crankbait, this is a really, really high-end cranking combo. So if I can try and simplify it for you, and we'll wrap it up here. Um, the first two, the Loomis and the Dobbins, those are great big crankbait rods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't throw anything smaller than a DD-22 on it. Yes. The glass is a great, all of the above, crossover, do-it-all rod if you're looking for one. It's not perfect for everything, but it will do it. That is hands down the best cold water, speed cranking, traditional size, size yeah. crankbait rod that we use. That's both mm -hmm. of our speed cranking combo. Uh, just an amazing combo. So it really is that simple. We're talking about a few different rods, but they have different purposes, mm -hmm. just like the crankbaits do. You want to add anything? Nope, there it is, guys. You know, there's hundreds of crankbaits on the market, and we've probably tried almost all of them. Almost all of them. And, um, I mean, look at some of these baits. It just, uh, <laughs> hopefully that <laughs> speaks volumes to just how much we've used them. And, you know, cranking has just really... 
we've got really into crank in the last few years, just, uh, you know, growing up swim baiting and doing all that stuff and really doing that deep cranking and, and really figuring out the cold water and, and that bass will really react and run down an eight to one gear ratio crank bait, right? You're burning that thing on that eight to one gear ratio reel and those things in cold water will chase that. So it's just been that light bulb moment. We've really had fun playing around with the different actions, the different wobbles, different colors, different hooks, just all of it, how all that stuff affects and changes how the bait works. So if you guys have any questions, please leave those down below in the comments section. Again, we will link all of these products in our favorite colors, and maybe we'll just do it by depth or something. At time no, of the we'll year depth. We'll, we'll do it in the order, order because otherwise they get lost, okay. right? You have to remember the name. So we'll do them in the order that we talked about them for you so you can quickly find them. Yeah, and when you click on the link, it'll show you the depths that they, they claim to run and, and all the details about the bait themselves. But yeah. themselves. But uh, this is our, you know, 12 month out of the year crankbait. That's, that's what hundreds of crankbaits can be narrowed down right. to right there. Right. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon. See you guys.